and defend better within. And eventually, we increased the lead from two to four, and that was enough cushion for us to maintain and uh, offset a late uprising coming from Vietnam. And Gia Morado will continue to start for the Philippines here in this deciding fifth set. A race to 15 here in the fifth and final set. Valdez getting roof, but Makandili was there and Baron was able to tip it back to the side of Vietnam. Baron on the drop ball. Back set for Gonzaga. Blockers of Vietnam are wide awake and putting up that wall. Only one single kill block for Vietnam registered in that uh, fourth set loss. And this comes after five offensive blocks in the third set win. But they score their first point on a kill block. And they get the upper hand to open up the fifth set. They only had one kill block in set number four. Right. After having five kill blocks. Now they have two straight to open up the fifth three. and final set. Relying on their wanted uh, height and size advantage over the Philippines. Two point lead for Vietnam. Morado has to figure out the defense of Vietnam. Another chance for her to do so. Gonzaga. Now the starting setter is back, back in correct. when Valdez on the opposite side. Now Valdez scored the last point for the Philippines in the fourth set. Scored majority of the points for the country in that fourth set win. And to open up the fourth set with the Philippines down at 2-0, Valdez will score against a double block and against the last line defender. Valdez in the Philippines down by one. Valdez tying the count at two points apiece with that service ace. Two straight points for Valdez in the fifth set. And Valdez, remember, was hurt a month prior to the start of the Southeast Asian Games. What a match. Both Eliza Valdez and P4 teammates as imports in Chinese Taipei for attack line have scored at least 20 points for their respective ball clubs. And a quick hit on the next play for Vietnam. Still up by one. It's allowing the Philippines from taking the lead away. Here's the pass from Arado. The set to Molina. And the run has been too straight for Vietnam, too straight for the Philippines. Another set of two straight points for Vietnam to restore a two-point lead. Philippines. And blocking has been the name of the game so far in the early goings of this fifth set, coach. True. It's a really major strength of Vietnam. And they relied on that heavily after being down by a set to open up the match, winning sets two and three for the Philippines came alive in the fourth set to send this match into a fifth and deciding set. Oh, the drama. In the very first match of our women's volleyball team, we waited a long time for this. Very long time. Morado. Improvising. B4. Blocked by Baron. The first kill block for the Philippines comes at an opportune time. Down two could have been down by three. Instead, the lead has been chipped to one. And, and that's, a kill block by Majoy Baron. That's what it might come down to. Lalong lalo na. Yung force na nakita natin from the hitters. Hindi na ganun kalakas. Well, that, that, that was enough for T4 to score. Going cross court, deep and long. Attacking zone five. And once again, the lead is at two for Vietnam. The youngest player on this Vietnamese squad, 18 years old, Wang, starting off this rally. And again, coach, the blocking of Vietnam. Huge problem. Even the, if the misdirection was there coming from Matayag, Vietnam will not bite 
of T4 number combined 12, number 19, to put up the two mark one and denied Jovi Gonzaga easy access three points is the biggest lead for Vietnam here in the fifth and final set Morado to Molina off the block quick vertical coming from Molina that uh, situation on sub will not work for Vietnam instead the Philippines will inch closer still down a couple of points at 6-4. Gonzaga targeting D4. D4 blocked once again. We observed this earlier. The wanted power hits of D4. Slowly. with lesser force. And it was Gia who blocked her. And that right there, that form tells us that she has finally shown signs of slowing down. The fatigue has become a factor, coach. And the worst thing that can happen right now to anyone is to hit the wall because it's so hard to recover. It's good for the Philippines, though. Right at 6 after being behind by 3 at 6-3. Three. three straight points for Team Philippines. Make that four straight points. Ooh! That ball was called in favor of Vietnam. And that running hit. Crucial point by Bui. D4 now will have to operate from the back row. Morado to Matayag with that familiar running attack. When just showing great composure on that drop. As we switch sides, the score is 86 in favor of Vietnam. These are the moments that you train so hard for it. all the sacrifices that you make, being away from your family, going abroad to learn from other nations who are more proficient with regards to the game. This is where it all has to come out. And this is a character check right now for Team Philippines. Game on the line, down by two. Still all is not lost. But the Philippines is looking to win this next point. Morado tossing it up to Molina. When ever present as the libero for Vietnam. Molina again. And that time, says Molina took away a little bit of power to make sure that the ball would drop right in front of the libero. Let's watch this. Making the necessary adjustment. That's adjusting. Tama sinabi mo. Away from the defense of the libero. Just Molina helping Liza Valdez keep the Philippines alive during the fifth and final set. Gonzaga sliding and keeping it alive. Valdez on the drop ball. It does not work. Blockers were there. Quick attack. Naunahan si Mataya. We with great presence of mind on that instance. And whenever we mention her name, it seems to be a bad sign for the Philippines because it means her efficiency is back and the middle hitter position is alive for Vietnam. Vietnam once again restoring a two-point lead. Morado to Matayag. Goes back to her. When? Ooh, tipping it right back down. How many verticals that last point for Vietnam? Timeout for the Blues. That's There's one. And the second jump. She barely jumped on that second one. Haha, but the bank had it. It is a three right now from Vietnam. Philippines under duress. Fifth and final set. Both teams looking for their first win in the competition. Thailand 1 0 beating Indonesia earlier. Coach, there's always that veteran who has been through so many battles, been through so many wars. 
And that player for Vietnam has been Nguyen Thi Chuan, 33 years old, the oldest player on the squad. And among all her peers, she's lang yung parang hindi nagbabago yung expression despite this raucous atmosphere. Yan ang veterano. How many, Asian, how many Southeast Asian games has she played in? How many national teams has she represented for Vietnam in the last uh, decade at least? Madayag on the running attack. Morado to Morado to Valdez. Ooh, Vietnam staying solid. Another chance for the Philippines. Alisa. This is the fourth kill block, at the very least, for Vietnam. Four of their 11 points here in the fifth and final set. Coming from kill blocks. And this is what we saw in the third set, where five of their 25 points came from offensive blocks. And defense is the name of the game for Vietnam here in the fifth and final set. 4.8 for Vietnam, Philippines at seven. Morado, Valdez. Capitana Abi Marano is back on the floor. And again, marking Eliza Valdez. He's allowing Eliza going cross court. Look at the height and length of the red shirts. Nowhere to go. 5.3 for Vietnam and three points away from winning the fifth set. Just putting up a wall in this deciding fifth set. Last push for the Philippines. The veteran went. Ooh. And the run continues, I believe, for the red shirts. And T4 has a lot to thank for in the fifth set. The teammates have stepped up, helped her a lot when she struggled, when she made mistakes. Every lifting in the first four sets, now it's all about team effort for Vietnam here in the fifth and final set. Marano on the running attack. We haven't had a lot of those become successful in this match. It's been a while since the Philippines scored. Molina and Valdez carrying the cudgels. Jovi Gonzaga has been quiet here in the fifth set after an explosive fourth set performance. Timeout, Vietnam. Stay tuned, mga kapamilya, because coming right up, we will continue our special edition of The Score tonight with Vico Halili, Laura Lehman. We've got Coach Oliver Almadro in the house to dissect right away this matchup between the Philippines and Vietnam. And Vietnam is at match point. Six match points for Vietnam. After starting out the match, losing the first set 25-21. And again, taking a look at what Vietnam has done here in the fifth set, it's not T4 hurting the Philippines. It's the rest of uh, Team Vietnam coming together, relying on their wanted net defense, scoring of multiple kill blocks. And now they have a six-point lead against the Philippines. And are at match point, Valdez. It was a gallant stand for the Philippines, At the end of this match, but it was points, Vietnam who came together in the end game, coach. It was a nail-biter all the way. Philippines had their chances. We extended the match, but Vietnam pulled away in the fifth set. D4 and the rest of Team Vietnam with enough composure. Staying away from the jaws of defeat and will deal the Philippines its first loss of the competition. Two games remaining for the Philippines. Two games remaining likewise 
for Vietnam. We play in the Indone we play Indonesia and Thailand. Only three games per team in the women's division. Top two spots will battle for gold. Bottom two will spare off for the battle for bronze. So the Philippines' next opponent will be Thailand on Thursday and Indonesia on Saturday. Final thoughts on this match, Coach Ronnie? Well, I thought that we started out really well, but Vietnam made the necessary adjustments. They were able to make the recalibration in the fourth set, but a slow fifth set start really hurt us as Vietnam was able to impose its size, length, and its net defense against our multiple points of attack. Nonetheless, we are proud of what our ladies have shown tremendous heart and passion for the game and we thank everybody who came out to the Phil Sports Arena and to everybody who tuned in on snasports.abs-cbn.com and on I1 para supportahan ang ating mga minamahal na atleta na nagpapamalas ng galing dito sa Southeast Asian Games. The score is coming right up. So keep it right here on SNA. Sa ngalan ni Coach Ronnie Magsanok, ako po si Anton Ross, nagsasabing huwag po kayong aalis, magpapatuloy ang aming coverage ng 30th Southeast Asian Games at itsenyo ng ABS-CBN Sports.